So I came across these two free tools which help you create cool animated backgrounds and a grainy mesh effect for your site. And I wanted an avalanche feel for this page of my site. So all I had to do was choose gradient colors from this website and copy the code. Then I downloaded the mesh effect from this site and pasted them here. Don't worry, it's super simple. So let me show you how I did it step by step. Before we create the mesh background, we need to make an animated gradient. This might sound complicated. Trust me, it's super easy. Just go to this website and you can create a gradient like this in no time. You can use it on almost any section, but we'll use it as our page background. So I'll first change the settings a bit and then check these three boxes and hit the reset button. Then I'll add the colors like this. I'll add the second one. And when you click preview, you'll see the result here. On the right, it will generate the code for the gradient. You can also customize the speed and angle from here to match your needs. Once done, copy the entire code, come back to Elementor and go to the advanced tab. Scroll down to custom CSS and paste the code here. Normally, you need to match this CSS class here with the container ID. But in this case, we can skip that and also remove this dot and hyphen like this. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Next, let's create our mesh effect. I'll go to this website and from here, I'll adjust the opacity. Just make sure it's not too noisy or too smooth. I'll also lower the density and make it transparent. If you want, you can choose a color from here but I'll skip it as we already have a gradient. Okay, this looks good. Let's quickly download it like this. Now let's go back to Elementor and add the noise effect. Select this container and go to the style tab. Click on background overlay, choose classic and select the image. I'll quickly upload the texture like this and hit apply. And there we go. The texture blends nicely with our gradient background. All right, now to give it some personality, I'll do this customization. I'll go here and add an image widget. Then I'll go to style tab, set the height to this and choose an image from the media library. I'll set the resolution to full and done. Let's preview the changes in a new tab. And yeah, looks good to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.